Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Welcome to Flat Earth Debate. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you're new to this channel, or you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they're live, and a PayPal link in the info box below the video once it's rendered. But most importantly, if you would like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box below this video to join the panel and express your views on the shape of the earth. If you do join, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected, and if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcomed back on the next stream. Please also share the show. Sharing the show increases the live audience, of course, but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel. So please, please share the show. And one last time, if you're new to the channel or you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. Now we are joined by Was A Plain Truth, Sleeping <laughs> Warrior, <laughs> Ranty Flat Earth, Mark Doxy, yep, yep. Joshua, Dawn Treader, Arwin and Alan. How the hell are you all doing? Good, mate. Hey, is this is this debate number two ninety you've just started? Two eighty nine. Oh, okay. Well, you spelt trust wrong. You put it in <laughs> our <laughs> in our we trust. <laughs> I like how you welcome all the guests, Nathan, all nicely, and you do a really long link, and then you start shouting at them. <laughs> Only as soon as you start to make a nice thing. Yin Yang sort of thing. Say that he again. Was I wasn't paying attention. Show, I was yeah. changing my spelling error. No worries. Just, um, just so, can we ask you some flat Earth questions, Nathan, without Arwen answering for you? <laughs> I don't know. Ask Arwen. Well, you normally just let him answer for you. I don't mind. It's you know one of those. Yeah, I'm always that kid in class that okay. the teacher well, asks a question, then I immediately right. answer. I'll start. It's Nathan's show, and it's flat Earth debate. So what we got to ask some flat Earth questions. Okay, so fair enough. That's a fair enough night, question Nathan. to ask. No, you can't. Where does the sun go at night? Like, you didn't answer, You didn't listen to the I, first I'm, answer. I live on a flat earth. The horizon's flat. Where, where does the sun go at night? I have no idea. I don't know what the sun is. Right. That's cool. Um, why don't we see the backside of the moon? It, let's say it's not a sphere. It's just a smarty shape or a half sphere hologram. Why don't we see the backside of it on, on, on the flat earth that I live on? No idea. I don't know what the moon is. Nice. Okay. Well, why do we see things obstructed from the bottom blatantly over the ocean right because there is something called the circle of confusion an area which you cannot see beyond and that circle of confusion itself is often obstructed by things like waves because of perspective a right. small two foot wave far in the distance will potentially rise beyond the midpoint where you have convergence how you see things with perspective can I, can I ask something can I your calculator omits it ignores right. perspective the way we see the well, world the when i point this out or give an answer to a direct question i get three people answer. talking at the same time as me people don't right. like my answers sometimes and they talk over them annoying well i accept your answer from the first uh, few sentences i just wanted to adjust the question so say say i'm 20 feet above the water and i still see something be blatantly obstructed from the bottom over the ocean so uh, you gotta have huge waves struck this and there's no waves because it looks like a car motion nice, right clean, you still have a line. convergence point with a circle of confusion that will obscure things behind it so not perspective uh, that is perspective that forces that to happen yes perspective perspective obstructs things from the bottom yes until they're totally gone yes yeah angular size reduction at distance occurs and if you had something to say for the sake of argument that was obscured at 20 miles because it was 60 feet in elevation and that happened to be the size that disappeared completely because it was too small to see at that distance. No zoom will bring it back. Right. It is below the circle of confusion. However, if you are to stick another 60 foot block on top of that first block, you will see the second block. It wouldn't suddenly bring back the bottom block because it's too small it's beyond the angular size block. that you can see therefore block. it would appear that you are missing one 60 foot block you can only see the top block well no it is just too small its angular size has gone beyond the point of convergence right. so therefore um, it appears 
to be obstructed if you have, for the sake of argument, a 120-foot turbine with 60 yeah. foot obscured that would simply be an effect of perspective if i was allowed to finish a breath without being interrupted by some oh, idiot really who answer. denies perspective and assumes ah with a religious belief thinks he's clever asks questions but doesn't like listening just talks continually okay, sorry, Nathan. i'll give you room for a long answer it's a so, rumpus answer. sometimes yeah, an answer got... takes more than a breath dawn some people okay. with limited intelligence and capacity to listen can't last that long well, it's inspiring hearing your answers, so I have follow-up questions. Uh, the follow-up question for obstruction is, uh, before I ask the follow-up question, can you explain what a circle of confusion is? Yeah, there's a line that would cause things to be obstructed. I haven't got a diagram to show right. this. Do you mean the horizon? Yeah, if you like. Okay, so the circle of confusion is the horizon. You've just made up another name for it? or Depends. Sometimes you can't see it. Sometimes the circular confusion is obscured by things like waves in the foreground, again, as an effect of perspective. Okay. So uh, the apparent horizon is the circle of confusion? No, because the apparent horizon would be the hard black line that you would think was where the land meets the sky. Well, no, I think the apparent horizon is what appears to be the horizon. You know, the, the building, the skyline, the tops of trees... Right. Sometimes Anything that line that, that you think is the land. sometimes that line that you think is that line has a, an inferior mirage below it, which is often ignored by globe heads, which means that it literally sits in that band, well, not, the not circle really, of confusion. Most globe heads accept mirages, obviously. Well, I met one that that sits in the honest. circle of confusion. So, okay, I've got my follow-up question about obstruction. Do, do you understand that perspective means things get smaller, and <laughs> obstruction means they disappear from the bottom because something's in the way? Do you understand they're different things? No, yeah. it doesn't necessarily. I've just explained that if you have a 60-foot box that is too small to see because of an angular size reduction at distance, i.e. perspective, when it gets right. to that distance... Yeah, here we go. It's another time. I've got halfway through the breath. Oh, I'll sound right. Sorry, carry on. Don't. Just listen. So because far. it cuts the gate. So the audience doesn't get to hear it while you go right, right over the top of me. Yeah, you have to have a little bit of patience to be able to listen to an explanation that's not one sentence, Dawn. Okay. R right. I'll just eager to ask the right, next question. So, you, know I mean? you have a point in the distance where something, say a 60-foot box, will vanish from view because of its angular size. It is too small to see. Things do vanish. You have a vanishing point. Yep. Now, if something is smaller than that, limitation say for the sake of this discussion 60 feet at 20 miles then at that distance a 60 foot block will be invisible you won't see it it okay, will be I gone however if you stack another 60 foot block on top of it you would see it so mm -hmm. in essence if you then had say a 120 foot turbine yeah Potentially, right. 60 foot could be visible, 60 foot could be obscured, but there's nothing physically obscuring it, it's just an effect of perspective. Yeah, um, I think you're wrong. No. So, I, could I, I just throw in another okay. question on top of that? Nathan, no, it's not. night time in Australia right now, and why do I see a completely different set of stars than you do, and no sun? Thank Same you. answer that I gave to the Sun and the Moon. Did you hear the answer I gave for the Sun and Moon questions? He doesn't know what they are, George. I don't know what the Nate, stars are. Nate, I know that they twinkle the in the sky and they rotate. Can I, can I, can I ask a all question? The, all the sun. You don't know what the sun or the stars are, so no. you're never going to answer any Neither questions do you. about it. Neither do you. Let's see if we've got any intellectual honesty from Josh. Do you claim to know what the sun, moon and stars are? Nathan, I believe in science. Not what you and believe. Men that do you claim to know? To do you claim to know? Not, I, I don't want to know about your stuff. beliefs. Not interested in your beliefs. Do you know what they are? Yes or no? Yes. What are they? They are big astronomical bodies in space. What, what, ask a specific question, Nathan. How far is the sun? 150 million kilometers. How'd you get that value? Because I looked it up. You just looked it up on Wikipedia. You're a moron. No, that's the right answer, man. 
Uh, how did you get... Oh, back to Dawn. Dawn, who also doesn't understand that you need a bit of R for this distance hey. to be correct. You would need to presuppose you're on a sphere to get this very acute angle, causing the distance to be astronomically high. So you would need <laughs> to presuppose an R value for this nonsense, like all of your nonsense. That's why it's so critically important to scientifically I... validate the R value. Do you mind if I ask a question? Please? Go ahead. Is it okay? How does your perspective explain the uh, clouds being underlit when the sun is low on the horizon? Perspective. So if the sun's far away, so does... the rays from something far away can potentially light the bottom of something purely by virtue okay. of perspective. It will meet the horizon so... as it reaches the distance. Same as if you see a plane going into the distance, it will eventually meet the horizon. It doesn't mean it's crashing into the horizon now, though, does it? Same applies to the sun. That. So the effect of what the sun's that. rays do is it... Re uh, there's no point in giving you an answer. None. Zero. Why? Because you Can just you talk constantly. You're the same as Dawn. You've got the attention span oh, of a gnat. You said, you said perspective, and I thought that was enough of an answer. Carry on. I apologise. That's all right. So, so, um, so if it, it has to go far away for the rays to light the underneath of the cloud, how far away does it have to go? And how big does it have to be to go that far away? It's back to my first original question. You're asking me stuff about the physics of the sun. I don't understand or know what it is. So I don't know. Well, isn't, okay, well, isn't someone going to work it out? I can have an answer for that. But uh, well, it'd be nice to be backed by science. Unfortunately, we have no. science asserting we're on a sphere and that the sun is 93 no. million miles away based on a presuppositional value of R. Of, uh, right. Definitely. It's sinking of, in, is it? Yeah, so, um, so um, why doesn't someone on flat earth make up their own flat earth science to measure these and give us right. an idea of how, right. how, so, how, how big the sun could be, how far it would have to go in order to do what it does when it's low on the horizon? Well, why first, can't someone just work off, that out? First take away all those assumptions that it is yes. an yes, object okay. that has to have a distance and a size because it doesn't. Right. Okay, you but you can, measure, you can measure it. Sorry, you can measure it as it tracks across the sky during the whole day. Yeah, you can so, you can, so man, you can measure it's, its angular position. Yeah. You're talking over me, buddy. So you can measure its um, size as it tracks across the sky the whole day. You can use that size to, to extrapolate things and work things out and get measurements. Why can't someone in a flat earth develop their own science or maths if you have to, to, to give us some idea on how big the place has to be, how big the... the, the sun has to be and they how far have. it has to go they have and what's the answer what are the numbers well anyone here want to answer that it's based up upon oh, a different yeah, assumption oh, model oh, well, it's the answers. I'll give you I, answers. please Nathan finish. doesn't know so yeah no, yeah we up. do know we have actually presented Don't say we. an alternative you assumption might, might based model of the flat earth still assuming that all these heavenly bodies are physical based on another different base uh, assumption sorry a you flat model to, and then the, the moon and the sun are a lot closer in relation to the r globe earth base assumption forget, forget globe oh and don't worry about globe don't yeah, worry about r it's, you it's can apply the same fantasy you can apply the same triangulation system on a flat assumed yeah. based model yeah, okay, if you and, want to necessarily assume that the heavenly bodies are physical Right, so, and it doesn't matter if they're physical. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Nah. Why? It doesn't. Because only if they are physical can you then extrapolate that no. you know, some kind of shape you. of the earth or their actual position. But as long as you have no proof that they are physical, then it's all just a bunch of assumptions. And yeah, conclusions based rainbows. upon these assumptions so, that you don't know. rainbows, basically. Flat Earth is based on the bunch, bunch of assumptions. What? It's a, the flat Earth-based astronomical model of how the sun and the moon are supposed to be traveling over us is still an assumption-based model, just like the heliocentric globe assumption-based model. Uh, okay. So it's fine to make assumptions. You um. No, it's not. You, you, 
Oh, you God, you actually already... want to get to the truth. It's still based on assumptions. It's just a different base setting for it. Yeah, oh, sure. well, you've agreed yeah, with me to make it so that you can use the stars to find where you, you are bring anything on the planet. To the, you don't bring anything to the debate. What are you actually bringing? We're here asking questions for your That's proof of that, your proof of gravity. Where is it? Display it. Show it right now. Uh, we're asking you, you about you, yeah, this is the point. The system we live absolutely well said, Ranty. The system we currently live under tells us that we're on a sphere. And the, to, in order to go forward, to answer whoever said, well, why haven't you got your scientific system? Well, because science backs the sphere. So we've got to demolish it and stamp on his head. Blah, blah, blah. What do you mean, blah, 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 Josh? The current science says we're on a sphere. So we have to disprove that first. We don't have to prove anything to do that, to get science to back reality while you but, blow your nose as I talk. But do you see why it, it flat earth becomes incredulous? Because you're not attempting to do anything other than just try to bring down something else. You're not putting anything forward. Yeah, we are. You're we're putting, putting the same out. exact putting, stuff as you are. Putting, we are. We're putting the same on. exact stuff you are, but you insert a presuppositional value of R. I said this earlier. So we do the same exact measurements you do, right? We see You're stuff and go, it's there with the same measurements. And you go, no, it's not really there. It's blocked by Earth curve and being miraged because we've got this R value. So we say, well, no, obviously we see this stuff. It's just there. No presupposition, just a simple straight measurement, simple trig. We see it, we measure it, we can tell you its height, we can model it. Simple. You guys say, no, it's not there. Not really. I know you can see it, but it isn't really there. It's actually blocked by Earth curve. Here's the maths and the presupposition oh, that goes with it. But you have to move on, Nathan. You have to what, move... move on from your fantasy. I have moved on from your presuppositional religional value of R. You haven't. That's why we're in this debate. You think it's real. I know it isn't. I don't have so any presuppositions. Us... So when you say prove it with science, we're doing the same thing. You insert a presupposition, though. That's what we're trying to smash. So what? So so, so what Nathan, what's your hypothesis? But, hypothesis so what, to what? No, I don't what need a hypothesis to make an observation. I can just see it like the lighthouse. I just look at it. It's there. You tell hey, me. You just, with, you oh, just... Don Josh. You tell me that the lighthouse isn't really there. It's not capable of being seen. There's a wall in the way. And it's being loomed up from behind that wall. So your world of fantasy and presupposition tells me quite literally to ignore the evidence of my own eyes. I don't need any science to back up what I can see. It's obviously and observably flat. No. Nathan, what's Occam's your razor. what's your observed phenomenon? No, I don't need no, to observe anything that's phenomenon. I don't need to see anything happening. I just see a lighthouse. It's not happening. Nathan. It's not being loomed up and periodically disappearing. That would be a phenomena. I just see it. It's just there. I don't need to experiment on it. I just look at it. There it is. You guys assert that it's not really there. There's a wall in the way. Why? Well, because we've got a presuppositional value of R, of course. Okay, so what's your hypothesis? No, I don't your need... How many... You're just deaf. I can just look at it. Don't need to hypothesize anything when I just see something that's there. I just go, there it is. I can see it. And then we measure how far away it is and go, yeah, we see it. Well, why? Well, because it's there. Well, it necessitates the world being flat, but that's obvious. It looks flat and is flat. And we build so on Nathan, flat surfaces. What's the, what, what's but the you guys, variable? for the second time, as you interrupt me, you don't seem to have this point what's sinking in. Variable? You guys presuppose that there's an R value, which necessitates that obvious observable lighthouse what not being is there. What the independent variable? I don't you... need one. I keep saying it. You're just thick, Josh. There's no other conclusion I can draw. I don't need to formulate a scientific hypothesis just to look at something. I can just look at it. I look at my table and go, table. I don't need to formulate a hypothesis to have a little look at it. And when I look at a lighthouse, I just have a look. That's the end of my observation. You guys look at it and say, I've got a presuppositional value of R, which says this lighthouse isn't really there. Therefore, Keep you have to come up with all sorts of explanations for what it's doing, like looming. Let me, let me. Hey, if it's Spurs. this simple, Nathan, for you, why don't you just go on with your life now? I am. Make, I'm a YouTuber and I make really good content, which people are loving at the moment. Really pleased with my progress. Thank you to everyone who subscribed, by the way, while Dawn natters over the top of me is showing up. So thank you very much to everyone who subscribed. I really appreciate the support that I'm getting. 
you know, trolls that they get labelled trolls. You're just my supporters watching the show, and I'm really grateful for all of that. You know, primarily I'm a YouTuber. Unfortunately, there are people outside my network of friends that have this religious belief in an R value and get very triggered whenever I mention it. They decide they can't listen anymore. They have to talk, tell me that I'm wrong, and I need to prove the obvious and observable nature of what we see every time we open our eyes, which is that things get smaller into the distance, and the Earth is obviously and observably flat. Water doesn't curve. Show me curvy water. Get small. You globers, you globers are like a bunch of religious lottery players. You think you can win the globe eventually? So you're coming back every day, you get grilled. You obviously lose, but yeah, you believe that one day, if you just come back long enough, if you can just find that one angle, okay. then you can win the globe. It's not uh, gonna happen. Hold on, it's all right. There is no globe. It was, was. I mean, <clears throat> we're gonna have this oh, conversation. Spirits. How are you, mate? Let's have this conversation while Nathan is here, but pretend he's not here. What is he doing wrong? Are you telling Nathan to shut up there, Keen? Not at all, not at all. I'm just saying, I want to... Very what, subtle, what I like it. I'm impressed. Anyway, you're going I'm to impressed say, oh, Nathan first. got it wrong, he doesn't understand, blah, blah, blah. So let's do Dude. it now. I want to find out, is he speaking English? Is he being clear? Is he making sense? Where is he going wrong? Because I understand very well what he's saying, but was and don't. It seems to I me like you, you, you're, comple I you're completely that. lost. You're lost, Kima, you're going to mad every day. Right, so what, what, gambling what is, what is, what is he, Hold on, Was. be specific. What is he doing wrong? What has he said that you don't understand? What is it that you disagree with? And what do you think he should be doing to provide proof that we're not on a spinning ball? Well, that's a lot of questions. Cool, how problem? long have you got? First one again. Well, well, let's, start, let's start where you like, because I, I, again, I'm not. Oh, right? What's he doing wrong? What's he doing wrong? Yeah, what is he doing wrong? What he's is what a new belief system, system, but he's throwing okay, he's... it in other people's face every day of the week. No, we're questioning your really, really vitriolically. We are questioning your belief system because it is taught for us from school. It is shown on. Yeah, TV. but the only people that care are people that enjoy arguing. You about care because you're here. Yeah, not that so we're asking for 69 your people that care Where's right now. Proof? They're watching. Where's your proof that you are, hiding? you are hiding the proof? Clearly, because you haven't got any. No, there's proof oh. all over the internet. Is it Dawn, you were saying, Dawn, you were saying, Dawn, you, you were saying, Dawn, you were saying earlier on, stop talking about R. And I'm like, well, why? Why did you want him to move on from R when that will show you that it's been... Because it's boring. Proof. What's yeah, wrong with assuming truth, R? What's what is wrong truth supposed to be exciting, Alan? Are you in this for fun or for truth? What's the, been, what's the problem with making assumptions? What's yeah, but you've the problem? been lied to. If I assume, I like, if I assume, boring, where's your proof, proof I've been every lied day. to? What? Where's your, Spurs, where's your proof that I've been lied to? You talk about perspective, but that doesn't, it's got to work on everything, right? Not just what you see, it's got to work on everything you see. No, the lie is that you live on a spinning globe with the radius. Where's the lie? Well, where's, you're not the a, where's the curve? That is the lie. The curvature, the lie is there's no curvature to be found. We've been looking. So that's the lie, lie number one, yes? No curvature. Hmm? Course, what? To you, yeah. No, what have you found? No well, hold on, Was. Have no. you found curvature? Me, personally, no. So then if you haven't found curvature, who has? Ranty. What do you mean? We've got plenty of photographs of it. Yeah, Ranty's found there's it. There's photographs of curvature. When we've been told that you cannot see curvature, you have to be so high, Was. Some would argue Ranty, uh, Ranty's found curvature with his photograph. All right, that's fine. Some would say that, but do you see a problem with any of what anyone's saying in this situation? I don't think that's curvature. I think look, I don't. They know I don't, it's not curvature. They know it's personally. Not I don't have a. I don't have a problem with what you guys say and believe. I mean, that's mm -hmm. your belief. Mm -hmm. So you know, you can say that, but, yeah, um, but I don't was, think it's right. Never yeah, was the most important thing is you, your belief, what you believe. Yeah. That I haven't you, been lied to. You said there's no lie. Well, how's where's the lie? And then I asked no, you, where's no, the curvature? No, no spare. And you said, well, I haven't found it. Well, where's the curvature? Me. Where's the curvature? Share my screen, Nate. Eh? Where's the curvature? Where's Spurs, the curvature? You're not satisfying me. I did not say that. Where's the curve, guys? In Show your photos, curve. mate. You take photos of it all the time. Where? I'm, I'm looking at a photo right now. I'm asking you, where's the curvature? Was. If you've got family and they're listening to you, you know, One foot high. Ducking, ducking around, dancing. And they they can see that you are not being honest, you know, in your approach. How will they look at you as an individual? Forget about everybody else. If I've asked you where's curvature, have you found curvature? And you say, well, no, I haven't found it. So the people that know you directly are going to say, well, was why did you 
what's going on. Just show them where the curvature is. Hmm? No, they're not. So what, what are they yeah. going to say? The people that love you, the people around you, are hearing you defending something that you cannot prove. Hmm? You you want to ask me long-winded questions and expect me to give you a very short answer, so I'll just give you a very short answer. Well, no, we've got time, I think. It's just started the show. We've got an hour or so, right? So we can get through it. I want to know where you think Nathan is going wrong, why he said you don't understand, why he should be doing differently. You've said there's no lie. I said there's a big, the biggest no. lie we've ever been told. You said there hasn't. You said there's been courage have been found. And I I've didn't say where... there's no lie. I asked you to tell me where the lie is and prove it's a lie. I'm where the curvature, curvature is here. They've been Where's showing the curvature us... here? Go ahead, Planty, sorry. Where, where's the curvature here? Look at ugly screen, Ronnie. Where's the curvature? The sun's half gone. Where's the curvature? Answer it. Where's the curvature? Behind the horizon, where the sun's disappeared to, and all those wind turbines. The curvature is behind the horizon. What? Wow. Yeah, away. That this is, is amazing. This is shore to shore, over 18 miles. Where's the curvature? <laughs> One foot high. One foot high. Shore to shore, where's the curvature? Come wow. on. What a nice long silence. Yeah, exactly. Because no you can't answer it. Anymore. No, but no, oh, you don't care. Oh, oh, you don't have an answer, so you don't care. You Even just go silent. Answer, you like Dawn, you seem to be dancing like around. Dawn, you dance around from pillar to post, right? So you're saying, well, I don't care about that. There's a, you ask a question. You said there's curvature. You're showing it's not curvature. So either you're lying to me now, and you're part of this lie. What? They're they telling me, Dawn, they tell me there's curvature. Yes? Then I'm asking have you, you measured where is curvature? This... Then I'm have asking measured... where I'm asking have where you is curvature? Measure curvature yeah. yourself. I've never seen this. Are you, on, are you part of curvature? I'll show Dor, you many types. No, are you part of the lie? Are you telling me what they are telling me? Hmm? Yes. So you're part of the lie, then, yeah? No, I'm telling you what they're telling you. So they're telling me there's curvature. There's a small chance it could be a lie, and we're all mistaken. I'll give you that. Yeah, but again, they're telling me it's a lie and they've produced an animation to show me curve. Yeah, they show me a picture, right? Hold on. Who's they? The dawn. You're still who's just they? supporting this lie. So then, Hang on, who's they? I didn't say I'm supporting a lie. I said I'm telling you what they are telling you. I think he means the rest of the globe, globers that defend the globe. Yeah, so All if right. we're being told there's curvature and I ask you, well, where's this curvature? And you say, well, go to them. Nathan has it on screen now. This is one example for you, Kima. Yeah, this is atmosphere. We've been through this. Door. No, it's not atmosphere. They're what, would happen, the horizon. what would happen if you remove the atmosphere? Them gone from the bottom? What would happen if you remove the atmosphere, Dawn? <laughs> what would happen? Yeah. I think there'd be more gone. Well, how do you test that then? Well, I don't. Why would I want to test that? Because you don't want to be lied to, do you? Or you don't I, care? I don't want to be lied to, but I'm pretty sure I'm not being lied to. Uh, and. I, I want to do other things with so my So you're going to you're this, just going to accept it on, on a mystery faith, like for yeah. someone else's theory of a lie. Yeah, you're going to accept blind, it on blind it. faith. That's no, it's not blind faith. faith. Yeah, it is. It's not. The you don't know faith. if it's a lie, but you're satisfied anyway. You're not going to test home. it. That's that's called accepting it on blind faith, Don. It's daylight where me and you are. No, again, again, don't. Right Those that love you, people around you who personally know you, right? They're listening to your answer. They want they want to uh, know what Dawn thinks. So if he can prove it, or if he's just talking rubbish. So uh, when you're saying, think, think so wait, so when you're saying, I just listen I to the authority. Question. They tell me what I should know. How can anyone take, you know, your view seriously on anything if you if you can't provide proof or evidence or even make an you, argument? You don't have to take me serious. And I, you don't already. You don't, do you? Well, we're not going want... to if you're not going to answer anything. What, what do you want me to answer? Where is the curvature? Yeah. The lie, Dawn. The lie. We we said there's a lie. You said it's not a lie. So if it's not a lie, I, show I, I gave you that there's a possibility of a lie. So you're supporting this lie or what? No, I'm saying it's a possible lie. So are you going to help expose you're it? You're not going to find out if it is a lie. You're just going to accept it on blind faith, whether no, no, it is a lie or not. You don't care. You're going to help expose this lie, right? It's possible, highly improbable. It was, it was. You're going to help expose this lie also, yes? What because lie? You haven't found curvature, have you? What lie, man? The earth is curving. But Downwards. Where's the lie? Who's, who's, who's telling us the lie? The education system. Right. And how many people are yeah. telling us this lie? I mean, 
really, you honestly believe it's a lie. You honestly, seriously, with your whole heart, believe all those people. Mm-hmm. Sure, some will be compartmentalized. Sure, some mm-hmm. won't be realizing they're telling a lie. Most of them. Blah, blah, blah. It was. Most, Most of seriously, them. Hang Hold on, Arvin. It was. Take it out. There you're was. Hang on. You're seriously going to believe yeah, that I there's heard you. I got your hundreds question. of thousands. Yes, I got I'm you. I'm going to repeat you. myself if I have to, because you guys do. There's hundreds and thousands of people mm-hmm. up at the top levels mm-hmm. that know it's a lie and carry on telling the lie. You're going to seriously believe that? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, what, I knew. Was okay. what's going to happen was is that you're you going it. to no, no. Was That's your again. belief? No, was you're going to you find no proof of it? No, well, was again. You're you're looking for authority from other people. You're, you're asking me to answer your question. Authority. I'm not your authority. Right. That's you would go, if you if you say right, there's curvature it was, then you would go and find curvature. If you can't find curvature, then ask that question again. Am I being lied okay. to? Okay. Hmm? Okay. If I take if I take a theodolite out and mm-hmm. measure the drop, will that satisfy you? Oh. Measuring perspective. No, because how do you know where the true right. horizon is? Was? How do you know where the true horizon is? Uh, using the okay. Theodolite. Okay. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. How do you measure? How do you measure the refraction zone? Your dirty ears. It's, a good point. it's just it destroyed your argument of a theodolite. The other light. It's a good point. It's just completely blown you off the other light and nonsense out of the water. <laughs> so again, was I have to ask, are you part of the lie? Was are you supporting the lie? Are you encouraging that we lie to each other? Hmm? I'm not supporting any lies. So what are you saying? I'm not a flat earth. saying that, so what are you saying? So, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to understand what just, you mean. Okay. You said there's you I'm, said I'm not a flat earth, you said so that they're not lying that. and they're telling the truth. But we haven't found what they've no, told I didn't us. Say that, Spurs. I didn't so what are you say saying that. then? Be clear. Are you supporting the lie, the narrative, or are you going to help expose the lie? Oh my God. I said, do you seriously believe that hundreds of thousands of people can be uh, telling a lie knowingly and just mm-hmm. keep it quiet? I don't know. I don't know about other people. I know about you. I know about what you've been told and what you can do to find out if it's true or not. Hmm? Well, I just told you if I took a theodolite yeah. and measured the drop. Yeah. Uh, would that, that would that support you? And then you said something. Well, where about, would you point the theodolite? light? At which horizon? Yeah, well, that's what I was trying to get at. Mm-hmm. So, so you've got a you you assert that there's some sort of refraction zone, right? Yeah, it's on no, screen now. Click my screen. You, you can see the just, sun. Sorry, like, Spurs. Click my sun. Copy this pic- Sorry, you can no, see no. you can see the circle of confusion. I'll highlight it for the audience that yep. there's a band the that runs through yeah. above the horizon, and you then have yep. an inferior mirage below it. So what you see as the hard horizon, the line, isn't the horizon. Unless you're proposing that you've got a figure of eight sun. Here it is again. The line that I'm drawing through the sun is an inverted mirage of itself, above itself. It's not going below the uh, horizon. That's what what they tell you. That's nonsense. (laughs) The sun on... Oh, why am I being interrupted? So yes, there is a line that runs through this sun and you are seeing a mirage of itself below itself meeting the horizon. So this is not the horizon. The horizon is probably around here. Oh, that is the horizon. Well, you can tell yourself that, but it's not. It's just the apparent horizon. You have a circle of confusion. You asked me about it earlier. I tried to explain it. You talked yeah. over me a bit. Like but most they, ignorant they, people, they don't listen they, when something complicated is being explained because it takes more than one horizon. sentence. You just made up another name for it. Circle of confusion. That's the same name I've given it for months. It's well, an engineering it's term. The silly name. That circle of confusion is that your dirty air zone? Is that what you guys have referred to as the dirty air zone before? There's various different things that cause obstruction, which is what gets labelled dirty air. Some of it are perspective right. based, i.e., things like a two foot swell can rise beyond the midpoint where the convergence line is. That's a perspective effect caused by things physically obscuring things in the distance. However, beyond that. a certain point, there is an angular size reduction where you cannot see beyond. So back to my box example of 60 foot box at 20 miles, its angular size is reduced so much that it is below the circle of confusion. Arwin describes this as an optical slant. He calls it the first and second layer. Well, if you see it on a side elevation diagram, which Chris has given me a couple of times, I will dig it out probably for the next show. It shows you inside profile where the circle of confusion lies based on how your angle of attack versus your actual viewer, viewer viewed position or viewed target is located. So you can see how these things map out and they are understood terms that engineers do use. So these aren't like terms we have made up. Dirty air, yeah, that's because we don't have a coherent science behind us. All of the science says boats go over a curve while simultaneously so 
while simultaneously while simultaneously ignoring the very real nature of perspective and presenting your world in an orthographic view with single lines drawn between target and observer where in reality we see an angular view of things things getting yeah. smaller into the distance but that's not ever accounted for in your model of the world it ignores perspective yeah okay so, so it was it was again i want to know what you're going to do about this lie you said there's no lie so i'm asking it makes me think now you're part of this lie you said there's no, there no lie so what are you saying precisely then oh man for the third time mm -hmm. um I'm asking you if you honestly believe if there are hundreds and thousands of people lying, willingly lying, and keeping it to themselves. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't, can I, I don't can know I have a bash at that then, Spurs? Course. If you don't, don't know, know I'll have a bash at that, Spurs. Was, right? So, sorry, Spurs. Well, what Spurs is asking you is, are you lying, Was? And your answer is no. But you believe this horse shit based on a presuppositional value of R, and you're still spouting it. Oh, shit. Yeah. So you're not yeah. complicit, right? You don't think you're lying. But plenty of people are in your shoes saying the same stuff. Teachers, reading from textbooks, for example. Good point. Good point, Nathan. Right. So you're not lying, Was. So you're asking about all the other people who are like yourself. So either you no, but or... You're, you're saying, hang on, you're saying there's hundreds of thousands of people at the top levels that are lying. Yeah, you. You are part of it. You are one I, of those people. Am, am I at the top level, am I? Yes, we are all at the top level. Can find out the truth. Uh, well, you, you are, a different, you are, you are part of the yes. Hang on, we've got a different view on what I mean by top level. No, if I'm you became the president, well, tonight, if you became the president of, of Australia tonight, you I'm would still this, think the same thing that you think right now. Right. If I became the you would be lying to of, you're yeah, if you were the president of Australia tonight. Cheap. That's what you are. And you come on this channel and you think you are telling the truth to try and enlighten us in some that's way. You don't realise that you don't realise. <laughs> he's asking about other people. That. He's asking about himself. He could be a pilot. Right. He could be. He could work for NASA. You could work for anyone. Was but you would still believe what you believe right now. All right. I drive a forklift and I fix computers. All right. Yeah. I don't work for NASA. Uh -huh. I'm not on anyone's payroll except my bosses. Yeah, but you could. You could work for NASA. You would still believe in a board. But would you be lying well, to me? No, you'd be asking the question. If, my, if you would say, if, you would say to I me, ran, is my company lying if I, to me? If, if and I, I would say, what? Actually, but you're part of that company. You work for this company. Right now, you were working for the liars. Yes? If I was an astronaut, I'd be a liar. Is no, that what you're saying? Not necessarily. Is that what you're saying? Well, I, Why I do you work yes. that like that? Why yeah, do you I do like think that? so. I think if you're an astronaut, you're absolutely complicit in this and would know that you were lying. Absolutely, yes. yes. Yeah. If I'm an astronaut, that means by your standard, I'd have to be a liar. Yeah, I would say so. Yes. Well, I yeah. don't know. I, I don't but know about many, anything. Could, more... They could be mind controlled. Yeah. They could be indoctrinated. We don't know. Yes. So, so how many more people are in a similar position of astronauts? Seventy-three thousand, according to NASA's employment list. Yeah, compartmentalized. Yeah, These people aren't being sent up on a fake oh, space that. shuttle. They're just working at a desk, looking at a terminal, which they're trained on how it operates and how it works and how it functions. Very easy. Nathan, to I just. Very I easy to deceive those you. people who work for NASA no, no, and what? just we hold have, the no, same no, belief as was. Therefore, no, no, was wouldn't if he was in that home. position. You, you oh my was, God! Just like those people who work in the administrations for NASA or well, any, one donkey exactly. at a time. You could be a pilot. You still believe in what you believe, right? Yes. Sorry, you're both talking. I didn't hear. Was you could be a pilot. You could be a teacher. You could work for NASA. NASA. You could work for a space agency. But you would still today, right here and now, believe what you believe. Hmm? Yes. yes. What's that mean? You could be the president of Australia tonight. Hmm? You would still believe what you believe that there is no lie. Yeah, but what does that mean? What's that got to do with the price? I mean, so when you're asking about other people lying, they they're the same in the same position as you. Exactly. We have all been lied to. Hmm? They're, they're not the people I'm asking you about. I'm asking you about the people that are in the same position as astronauts and that are knowingly lying. It's a very few, very few and far between. You know, you to know so you, to know who's lying you, to you is very difficult to figure out. But there are certain people that are certainly in this debating think, field. Think about it. That are complicit in this deception you know for example your calculators that are published online omit perspective this is a fact so there's got to be people out there that understand these mathematics people aren't stupid 
Therefore, I would say if you understand that it omits perspective and you present it anyway, you're complicit in the lie. But that's not the same level as somebody who's faking space and pretending to so go to outer space, a vacuum means, next to a pressurized system. They're complicit in the lie. They absolutely know they're lying. At some stage, they will have found out there's a good chance that the astronauts are led to believe they're going to space until it actually reaches the point where they're going to. And then they get told the dark, awful truth that it's all nonsense. Now you've got to pretend so to be on a spacecraft that, whilst hanging yeah, from yeah, these high that. wires. So the people that lead them, lead these astronauts into the lie, they have to know, they have to be the liars. Yeah, I think there's a very few people in the control so, room. Capcom probably the knows. One, Capcom would Five. probably be the only person in that control room that they filmed that would know the truth. All the rest are just donkeys working at terminals. It's a secret 74? society, and they basically test people that get into space stuff that want to become an astronaut, and they just 98? ask them questions and see how they work moral-wise, how much reaction they would have to lying to others, and how important they would deem having a, a big salary, anyway, I'm what would they do right. for it? And oh, then yeah, when these people gave the right answers, when they was, prove to these serious. people that in, that interrogate them, mm -hmm. that they would, wouldn't would really mind lying to the masses, especially if they thought that most people are retarded anyway, so they didn't really care. But and these people be... will be led into the secret. Right, so and so was, 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 you've got to ask yourself, was, stay so silent about it. am I part of the lie? Am I helping the lie? Or can I find out and stop this lie? That's all you should no, be asking yourself. Ask. It's finding out if there's a lie, if you've been lied to, and how you can prevent it. I think you you guys should as well on your side do the same thing. Yeah. Just to make it fair and balanced, you know what I mean? Because one, what, what, one of them is what, a lie. If one of them's a lie, the other one might be a lie, isn't it? Because what you're saying is really quite fantastic. Yeah, chemo's in detective yes. mode. Detective mode now. It's, it's actually quite on, fantastic on, isn't on an it, investigation. Kimo? Yeah, Kimo, you got to ask yourself, mate. It's quite fantastic to believe so many people can be keeping a lie and knowingly lie. No, it's not. Not if you understand how things work, education, the system, what about they would the and what they would lie. need to do to lie to you. Yeah, it's not very simple. It's like, it takes five hundred years to convince you of a lie. I can just tell yeah, you this today. Still... I would have to get you when you were young. Was start when you were very young and start implanting and imprinting and pushing a narrative into your mind. This yeah. is very difficult to get you to believe that you're moving, that there's curvature, that things like gravity, space. It's very difficult to tell a person this. So you have to tell them when they're very, very young and uh, very impressionable. Was. And you also and nobody also else. the parents also need to believe the same thing. Exactly. The kids concept. will have to fall back onto somebody that they trust for what to believe and what not to believe. So I think you guys plenty of generations, just three generations, if they all believe the same concept, then it'll be a lot easier to convince people and really get behind that specific belief. Whether they know it is true or not, they will believe it. And that is what you guys are. You still haven't given me a number. Number? What number? Well, how many people have to be knowingly lying across all the space agencies across all the world and in all the governments that are controlling these space agencies? And the list I'd goes say on. around 100,000 people would need to know. <laughs> That's okay. just pie so in the sky. We've got no people. way of knowing how many people are at the helm of this deception. We have no way of knowing if the deception is known to... Is real? Say again? You have no way of knowing if this if the deception is real. Yeah, we do. No, you don't. You yeah, just we said. Do. No, yeah, we you do. don't. You just said yeah, you have no way do. of knowing. Hang on. You said you have no way of knowing how many people are at the helm of this deception. So you don't know if the deception is no, real. No, that's not the same thing. We it know is. that people it would is. have to it's know the, it's exactly the deception the to be it's able to thing, steer Arwen. it, to Arwen, be able to guide thing. it, to make it believable. Arwen. It can Arwen. the deception can't just it's run itself. Arwen. Arwen. That Arwen. doesn't mean that thing. we cannot know that it is a deception because deception is going on. Right. And with don't critical know. thought, we can determine this. Are you, are you saying By we don't know that it's making, we can determine you're making this? Assumption. You're what making assumption are we making? Assumptions. 
Proof what deep. Proof deep of deception. No, no, no. You, you have assumptions. the assumption. You don't have any proof. No, no, no. Any no, no, Ranty. No, no, Ranty. You're, you're working assumptions upon no, assumptions. No, where's what your assumption? Assum where, right, where's your proof of gravity? It doesn't matter, mate. You're, where's your, you're yes, making assumptions. Yeah. Where's your proof of gravity? You're making assumptions that... Exactly. That, 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 Ranty has got you, was. Ranty has got you. We're not making any assumptions and you won't listen. It's an assumption. Just listen. What What do you think we're assuming, sorry? You're assuming that the... um. Read the um, what? examples of gravity we're giving you are assumptions. <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> That's your assumption. That's yeah. your assumption. It's Cavendish. It's based on Cavendish. Do you know what Cavendish is? It's a uh, uh, something you have with your lamb, is it? Or is that mint? Cavendish balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah, why are you laughing? It's funny. <laughs> yeah, funny. Hey. You guys, you guys. First, the ancient Greek, Greeks you put a bunch of sticks in the ground that proved that it was a globe, and then Cavendish came along, you, brought you his believe. steel balls to you make guys more believe proof. That that was can you stop globe. talking all over Arwin? I asked you, no one answered. You all chuckled. Now Armin's telling you you're talking over him. Oh, what's he talking? I'm sorry. What was that? Who's explaining Cavendish to you, you dicks? Yeah, sticks in the ground prove you're on a sphere. Then Cavendish came along and gave you gravity. Mm-hmm. So that's it. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Balls hanging from sheds and sticks in the ground is your scientific evidence. Well, it's not <laughs> scientific evidence so you, of anything. It's well, preposterous. Say. It's a sideshow circus, and you guys believe it. Because you're idiots, yet you're telling us that we're making assumptions. No, without any scientific you, backing whatsoever, use, with a couple of sticks and a presupposition, it, you've decided, yeah. while you talk all over me, that your world's a sphere. You we haven't got it. any... But you, but you, they used balls in a shed because that's the technology they had at the time, is it not? They didn't have anything much else, did they? And yeah, we have you've still got the same now. gravitational constant. You're within 1% yeah. well, of the gravitational constant that Cavendish got. I don't know. I don't know much about the Cavendish. You got me on that one. I'm, I can't speak of that. That's the basis of your religion. It's is the it? apparatus that tells you stick to a spinning sphere. It's the basis of the weight of everything in the solar system. This is the, why don't you know this? Sticks prove R, and balls prove G. Yeah, basically. You muppets don't even know this. I'm looking at the image on screen now and it's helping You Muppets globally. don't even know this, Dawn. Yeah? Yet you're here telling us that we're making presuppositions while we point out your religious faith and the apparatus is based on sticks and balls. Those wind turbines. That like but shut up about wind turbines. We're at the crescendo of this, Dawn. Where we point out the idiocy of your religious faith. Your faith in R. Your faith in G. You believe... You believe go on. Okay, that's it, you've got faith. Keep the faith, brothers, because that's all you've got. You don't have any scientific evidence for your presuppositional value of R. We don't and have got... your scientific evidence. I've just told you, we obviously observe this lighthouse on screen, it's there. Where's the bottom of it? Oh, Where's you're going to talk page? all over me? Oh, this is Alan's cue, isn't it? When I point out the fantasist's fantasy, that this lighthouse is there and we see it, but you dicks presuppose an R value that says it isn't there. Yeah, this little problem for you isn't going to go away. It's obviously observably flat. We see it, we can triangulate to it, simple trig, straight lines, and we can measure the height of this lighthouse. In your you world, a it's a slightly looming non-standard refraction hyena hologram that is obscured by a 160, 170 foot wall of earth curve. So we cannot physically see it. It is not there, but in your fantasy ball world of sticks and shadows, it's obscured. So it's a fantasy hologram in your world of balls. Yeah? Nonsense. It's obviously flat because we see stuff. It's just as simple as that. Up. No scientific hypothesis is required when I see something. Yeah, I see I'll a table because it's there. I see a lighthouse because it's there. And I can measure it in the same way they build stuff on the flat plane we dwell atop. atop. That's as simple as that. This lighthouse you exists. I can see it and I can measure it. No hypothesis required. When you come to an R value that you stick into the exact same measurements, we haven't presupposed anything when we take a straight line yes, to this have. and measure its angle, yeah, yes, to give you, you its height. Yes, Stop talking. We don't presuppose a damn thing. A you take yes, you 
Well, Alan, what have we presupposed? We draw a straight line and measure it. A deception. No, you presuppose a deception. No, you have no I'm not talking about deception. I'm talking about a photograph of a lighthouse. I'm talking about how, to, how it's explained and you're debunking my explanation of that explanation. No, I'm saying that you have to have a presuppositional value of R. The problem comes when we look at the world and see that it's obviously and observably flat. We see things that are there. They're not holograms, mm. but in your mm -hmm. world with a presuppositional value of R that you have no scientific evidence for, it's not there. It's blocked by this imaginary wall of Earth curve. Well, that seems reasonable to me. Hallelujah, yep. I'm a fantasist believer in R. Praise be to the Hallelujah. denial of perspective. I believe in descriptions. Hey, Nathan, a Christmas a tree believer. basically contains all the proof they need. The tree is basically a big stick, and it has balls hanging in it. Yeah, so it's both covered. proof of R and G. Are you trying to, you're trying to chop down the tree by pausing the roots? Look, up until about 10 minutes ago, you didn't even know that G had balls in sheds proving its worth. Or that me yeah that's where well, you I, get that's how before, you decide the mass of the sun done. balls in a shed is how you decide the mass of earth and mars that all comes mm -hmm. from cavendish so you know how when? heavy the sun is based on balls in a shed it is pathetic Del you know, shed. Do you Del know how they did it exactly yeah del's not you proving know, the weight of venus now is he your balls you in a the, shed, the, your pathetic you know excuse for science. So your pathetic mm. excuse for science gives you the weight of Venus, though, doesn't it? How pathetic is your belief system that balls in a shed can tell you how much Mars weighs? Oh, my God. You guys don't even know your own fantasy. <laughs> you Learn your religion there, better, you? boys. Learn your religion I, I, better. I, I it's it's amusing shed, that mate. you ignorant idiots help. don't even know where your religion is based. Yes, I do. Oh, really? Up until 10 minutes ago, you didn't know where G came from. You didn't know that you could weigh Mars using balls hanging from a know. torsion. I did you know. didn't know no. that until I just told you. But you know all about your religion, don't you? You know all You're about your religion. I, you think R is provable. Say things that I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's it you. does matter. You've got you a religious you, belief in R. Now I'm beating you down. You think it doesn't matter. You're trying the dawn tactic of it doesn't matter now we're beating the crap out of you with your presuppositions and your religious beliefs. Yeah, it does matter. You You've got a religious belief and a presuppositional value of R. I don't have any presuppositions. None. You do. And we're smashing those beliefs daily. So when you ask why I do this, it's to humiliate religious believers, zealots like you. You, you are full of assumptions. No, I'm not. I don't have any assumptions. When I take a measurement to a lighthouse I see, I draw a straight line and measure it. Simple. That's the world we live in. When you take a line, you have to do an art calculation. Why? Because the power of R compels you to make an art calculation. And why are you making an art calculation? Because you can't see it. Because there's a wall of earth curve in the way. It's like the emperor's new clothes, though. You can't see the wall. It's not blocking a damn thing. But you definitely need to do an art calculation. Because you've got an assumed value of R, right? Mm -hmm. Why are all the photos from space fake? Uh, sorry, Just we've gone over this. We're coming full circle now. So in order for you to have trajectories going around a spherical Earth, you need an R value, which you have no scientific evidence for. How many times do we need to go around this circle? Sorry, I missed the question. Can you say it again? You don't have any scientific evidence of R. No scientific evidence that would satisfy you. No, science is a method that you would adhere to. To prove things, specifically cause and effect relationships, yeah? So when you Muppets come on and say the Earth's curved and that's why it's obscuring things, you can establish that cause and effect with science, something that you guys claim to have behind you yeah. and have had yeah. for 2,000 years while you've asserted this nonsense about balls, using balls to prove balls. You done? You Are you not ashamed, though? Who, me? All of you. That you, no proof that, that you, you, you believe in something that somebody tried to prove 500 years ago. Are you not ashamed? Are you not ashamed? Honestly, are you not ashamed with the proponents? You don't have any evidence for anything. You should be hanging your head in shame. You believe in lumberjacks. I really got no words for that, you know.
Well, you should be. Right. So, was how do you stop people like Nathan and myself saying that what you believe in is in a religion? How do you stop that? How do you prevent a religion, something that is a religious belief, uh, and make it make belief. it into a fact? Hmm? It's evidence based. Well, 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 Spurs. Uh, mm. To me, when you say it's a religious belief, to me that's just you saying that. It doesn't mean anything. How how can we prevent that? And how can you prevent that I idea can't. of I'm just thinking? I can't so, prevent it. Of course you can. I'm, I'm, of course I'm you a can. realist, mate. I know I you can't can. prevent it. It's, you can. How, you can how provide you scientific evidence. So how many times I, have I got to say science proves things? You can prove it with scientific evidence. You can establish a cause and effect relationship. Science is supposed to back you. But, so go and get some but, science. You can you're, take you're, already, instruction. That's, that works. You're, you're already putting it un, sweeping under the rug when there's enough there, enough photographic evidence to show you at least. It's flat. Not scientific evidence. So what? So, well, that's why I'm saying it you gives, guys assert that you've got science backing you your see. religion, and yet you've got an assumed value of R. It presupposes all of the distances to the sun, for example. Yeah? Seriously. It starts Seriously, with please. an assumed value when you measure those distances to space, where you claim you're taking pictures from. So if you have an assumed value that creates that world, yeah? The distant stars are based on presupposing you're on a sphere when you measure them. The value they presuppose it with is R. All right, let me just try a different way with you, Was. Let's say, for example, people believe in God. It's a religion, it's a faith. How would you change that religious idea of a God into a fact? What would be necessary? What, what, what would you require to stop the religion being a religion and God being a fact? You can't change it. You can't. You but can't even believe. if even if God was presented to you, you're saying it still wouldn't be a fact. Oh, if God was presented to me. That's what I'm asking you. How do you go from religion right. to fact? Yes. Yes. Right. I'm asking you, how do you go from we're saying that you have a religious belief? Your heliocentric model is the religion. You worship the sun. You, you know, you believe in things that you haven't seen. You worship things that you will never see like gravity. So how do you turn this religious idea into actual facts? You can't. You can. So you could you never can validate it scientifically. It's only a religious idea because you said it was. No, but how do you make the religious Everyone idea? Everyone else already considers it, considers it as well, fact. You've got a belief in R. If, if you've got a belief in, in G. In me, you've got a belief a in a spinning with, sphere right? Earth. He was You've got a belief in all these things because they're not proven. And if you go What's again and say, I've got a photograph, it's like you can believe in images you see on the TV. King Kong, therefore, is real, right? Godzilla's therefore real. You've seen an image on TV, right? You've not experienced that for yourself and you never will. You resign yourself to the fact that you'll never see it as an acceptable justification when someone shows you a photograph. But the reality is, the reason you've got space, distant planets, is because they presupposed a value of R. That's where it all began. It's as simple as that. So when I ask for scientific evidence of the presupposition, that's where it all begins. But you've got nothing to offer. You just go back in that little circle and say, the powers that be provided me a photograph. They've told me I can't go there. That's too difficult or expensive. But I'll believe them. Because you have a religious belief. Consult your priests. In our we trust. And with that, but I'll say all. first and foremost, a huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of the live audience for tuning in and hopefully for sharing this debate. And of course, a massive thank you to all of the debating panel for making this debate possible. If you hated the show, then I'm sure you know what to do. But if you like the show, maybe consider sharing it with a friend or subscribing if you have not done so already. I've been Nathan Oakley and I will see you all in the next video. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day!